What's up, everybody? My name is Axio. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use open broadcasting software and the best ways of using the noise gate filter. Now, a lot of people don't really like to use the noise gate filter, and some reasons are that it's not very reliable. Well, ever since open broadcasting software multi-platform has been released, which is available for Mac, OS X, Windows 7, and I think XP, but it's also available for Windows 8.1, 8, and 10. And I believe it's available for Linux. So you can go onto the Open Broadcasting Software website, download multi-platform. You don't want to download regular. Multi-platform is kind of like beta, but it's so much better than what it was, than what it ever was before. So let's go take a look. We're gonna open up Open Broadcasting Software. Now, of course, I'm using OS X, and I will do another tutorial uh, for Windows so you guys can get the. Uh, both tutorials, and they'll be both separate tutorials, and they will both be on my YouTube channel, so I will keep you guys updated on Twitter, and I will also keep you guys updated on Votable. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, in order for desktop audio to work, which a lot of people do have a lot of requests for, you're gonna need to download something called Soundflower. So once you have Soundflower downloaded, and I will have all links to the description if I include any external uh, softwares. So once you have Soundflower downloaded, and this is only for Mac, so you do not need this for Windows. Soundflower is a way to split different audios so that you can actually get desktop audio. Because when you are using Mac, you don't have access to desktop audio automatically. So let's go to our launch pad, and we're going to go ahead and go to our... Uh, where is it? Ah, I'm sorry about that. We're going to go to our Soundflower, which should be here. So let's go ahead and open up Soundflower Bed. Now you see nothing open up. You're like, well, where's the program? Well, the program is actually an audio split program. It's kind of like um, a virtual audio for uh, Mac. So let's go to down to audio setup. It's the little flower. That's the one you want to click. And let's go ahead and create a new audio device. I'm going to start from scratch. Now, let me go ahead and exit out of open broadcasting software so you guys can see this. Of course, desktop audio isn't going to be there for the first time. Sometimes it can be disabled, but since it already recognizes that Soundflower is installed, it's going to be there automatically for you. And you're going to want to set Soundflower 2 channel on open broadcasting. So let's go ahead and press the plus button. You're going to want to create a multi-output device. You do not want to create an aggregate device. Multi-output. Once you do that, you're going to click built-in output, Soundflower 2 channel, built-in output as the master device, and the sample rate of 44 100 hertz. So let's go ahead and make sure that this is set to as the device for sound output and play alerts also. Now, after you do this, you're going to exit out. You're done. And then you want to go to your, uh, whoop, it's okay. That's okay if that shows up. Go to System Preferences, Sound, Output, set to Multi-Output. Your sound effects, Multi-Output. Your input is just your microphone, so you don't need to worry about that. And you're good. Now, we need to make sure that the audio is working. So, we're going to go ahead and just look up some music. Let's see what we can do here for music. I'm pretty sure I have some music installed. Oh, that's all right. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and go to Incompetech, which is royalty free. And so let's just use Incompetech. Yes. Uh, let's go music. We're going to work. look up some random music. This is just to test the audio, make sure it's actually working. Let's go ahead and use relaxing piano music. As you see, the audio is working here. On open broadcasting software, you can see that the audio is showing up. So we are all set on Soundflower. Okay, the next step is to set up noise gate. Now, a lot of people don't know what noise gate is, and here is noise gate. If you go to the microphone gear here, as you see, mic slash auxiliary, and there's a little gear here, you want to click filters. As you see, I have my noise gate already set up, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. This is without noise gate. 
There's a constant noise at the end here, and you're always going to get noise no matter what. So what a lot of people like to do is get rid of noise by using a noise gate filter. A noise gate filter just removes the audio noise at a certain level of decibels. As you see, this is decibels. This is the level of my voice. My voice is at a certain decibel level, and everything is different. So let's go ahead and press the plus button, noise gate. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and double check that. We can see now, when I talk, the noise gate is no longer there. And as I don't know if you guys know this, when I recorded Terraria episode one, I used the noise gate filter with open broadcasting software for Mac. I recorded that on Mac. So we can go ahead and look at the close and open threshold. We don't have to worry about attack time, release time, nothing like that. The most important thing you need to worry about is close and open threshold of the decibels. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is in decibels. So let's look at close threshold. I'm looking at my audio as I go. And it seems to be doing really good. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. And that is how you use noise gate. Of course you can modify it to your extent or your desires, but I'm gonna leave this alone. All right guys, this has been the tutorial. My name is Axio. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a great day, guys.